Yo, what's up guys, Super here, I have a quest card for you on the quest Slug Menace. This quest requires you to be able to defeat a level 62 enemy with melee, 30 crafting, 30 rune crafting, 30 slayer, 30 thieving. You must have completed Sea Slug and Wanted. You must have the items, a chisel, a calm orb, and 5 to 25 rune essence, 1 swamp paste, as well as 1 air talisman, 1 earth talisman, 1 fire talisman, 1 mine talisman, and one water talisman. Now if you use the abyss you do not need any talismans but I'm gonna be using the talismans just to get to the altars around runescape which might be easier for a lot of you. So it's recommended to have armor, food, melee combat gear, teleport methods just use the teleports I have in my inventory as well as an enemy of glory and food and melee combat gear as I said. So talk to certificate certification to start the quest like I already have. Basically he's gonna, he's gonna let you know about the new uh, whatever you call it, controversy going on with the uh, slug port again. So once you've talked to him and you've started the quest, make sure you check in your quest tab that you started. And we're going to get a Calm Orb V2. So talk to Savant. And at this point you got to make your way to Witch Haven. I'll just show you on the map where that is. Again, you guys did uh, Sea Slug there. Just teleport to Ardoin and make your way east to the very top little port in Witchhaven to talk to uh, our man up there. So teleport to Ardoin and head east. Once there, talk to Colonel O'Neill, or Colonel O'Neill, I always say Colonel, and let him know about your mission. Keep talking to him. And basically the slugs are taking over Witchhaven. And I just went through a bunch of options here so I didn't have to accidentally miss one. So I asked him a bunch. At this point he's going to tell you to speak to some people. So just follow where I go to speak to people. He's going to tell us to stay sharp. So first go south and then west to where I'm headed. We're going to be going to the mayor who's in his little house right here. Talk to him. Mayor Hobb. Keep talking to him and go through all the options with him. And some suspicious bishops brought up some suspicious stuff's gonna start happening. And I'm gonna be asking him these questions. As you guys can see, is what I'm doing on screen. So it's not completed yet. And after a nice and long conversation with him, the last one is, do you look very ill? Food poisoning. He's basically lying, and uh, as you know, uh, there's a slug in control of this guy. The graphics I find really fucking creepy for some reason. Just like the fish eyes. Ugh. So uh, we're gonna contact Savant. She thinks there's something fishy going on with him. And I need to investigate the area further. So make sure you finish talking to Savant. And wait a little bit in the building. And she's gonna say, hold on a minute. Basically, she's going to ask you to scan again. So scan. And she sees two life forms coming from Mayor Hob, which, as you know, is an, probably another sea slug. So, 
Now things start to get creepy. Now run to the little prayer monastery place and talk to Brother Maledict. Keep talking to him. He's still okay. He hasn't been affected yet. And ask him all through, uh, or ask him all these questions that I'm asking. Once you've asked me about him all these questions, you gotta go investigate further by talking to, I believe you have to talk to Jeb up here, who's uh, at his boat. Or sorry, talk to Holgart, if you go to with Jeb later, and talk to Holgart. Once you finish talking to him, you guys gotta head back to Jake, or the Colonel, dude, on aisle, dude. So boy, what have you learned? And once you finish talking to him, you guys gotta head back west. Basically, you have to go into the same cave that you went to for a prior quest. I f might have been Sea Slug, I forget, but you basically have to head to the exclamation point on your map that's west of Witchhaven and east of Ardoin. Once down here, click on the wall and enter the wall opening. Now, if you're able to, I forget what agility level you have to be to get through the shortcut, but uh, I was able to get through it, so try to get through the shortcut if you can't. You have to make your way around and follow basically a maze to get to this area right here. And when you try to open this door, she's going to say, hold on a second, and her response going to say, and she wants you to scan close to the door. So make sure you stand one step from the door. And Savant will give you some info on the place. Make sure you guys pick up the dead slug that's right here as well, as you'll need it for later. And keep the dead slug as you'll need it, as I said. And keep talking to her, and then eventually she will tell you you need to go find some stuff out. So I contacted Savant again and asked her a couple more questions. And there we go. So at this point, you guys need to head to the outpost. Uh, you guys, sh if you haven't done the quest, you know, this quest making history basically is uh, northwest of West Ardoin. There's a little outpost house. You gotta talk to Jural, who will give you some info. So you gotta make your way over to Jural, who's a pretty far walk from the Ardoin place, but not too far, just a straight shot. So Savato will tell you the correct things you need to say, and just keep looking through the options. And a long conversation ensues between all three of you.
Yes, I'm the YouTuber. And after lots of click here to continues, you guys will be done with that. But Savannah will contact you again. And keep going through the conversation with her to talk to her. Savant out. Okay. So now we're going to teleport to Artie. And we're going to run back east to Witchhaven. Talk to Colonel on the docks. And he'll still be alright, but basically tell him all the info that you learned. Once you've talked to him, you guys are going to head back to Brother Maledict's little monastery, and that cutscene should ensue once you get close to it. Or basically, he gets turned into uh, one of the slug people as well. So, another one bought the dust. Talk to Brother Maledic. You need to collect some pages. So he doesn't know, or he says he's fine, but he's obviously been infected, should I say? So once you finish talking to him, you gotta go to a couple different places to find the pages. So enter the mayor's, or the circular house. Make sure you have three inventory spaces. And sorry about that, I meant the house above the circular house. Walk in here, and you're going to search the study desk. You should get a page. If not, uh, talk to your brother Maledic again, and make sure you go through the whole conversation with him. Now head back to the fishing shop, which is the closest to the little dock where Jake is, and talk to Ezekiel. And he has a page as well, which he'll give you. Basically, someone slid it under his door, which was probably uh, Brother Maledic or someone. And last but not least, go talk to Jake. I think, I hope his name's Jake. I've probably been calling him that the whole time. Colonel O'Neill, who unfortunately has been infected as well. Talk to him. And... You'll need a couple free spaces for this so I had another food. And go through that conversation again with him. And you need three spaces. Sorry about that. I thought you needed two. So make sure you have three inventory spaces. The monster isn't that hard to kill at the end. So don't if you have protect from melee or whatever, don't really worry about food. But he'll give you three pieces. And use your swamp paste on the pieces, but Savannah will say stop. But she say that since uh, you can't use it on the pages because it will basically make them suck. So once you finish talking to Savannah, you need to make your way to the slug docks that you had went to the quest sea slug with. So talk to Jeb and ask him to head over to the fishing platform. He will take you there, no cost, free. Once you're there, head west and open this door. Close it again. Talk to Bar Bailey or whatever. And talk to him about your situation. Right there you go. And make sure you use your dead slug with him. And then use these 
slug thing he gave you on the parchment, the one of the three pieces. And at this point, you guys need to make it look like a basically like one page. So follow what I do, or follow. Uh, you need to follow my exact movements, but I'm going to show you the end product as to what it needs to look like. As you can see, you can flip the pieces as to what it needs to look like. Um, and I just do it really quickly for you guys. Pretty easy stuff. It needs to look like one more. And there we go. So once you've done it perfectly, it'll say that you've lo locked or you're not locked, you've uh, completed the page. At this point, you can tally out and med make your way to the bank. Once at the bank, where you guys have to withdraw a bunch of pure essence. And each page has a shape option. Shape, one pure essence, Make sure you have a, a chisel on you, and make one make each pure essence into one shape. So click shape earth to make one to an earth, shape air to make one to an air. It is possible to destroy the pure essence, just redo it like I did. Um, so make sure you have a decent amount of air on you. It took me a while to get the air for some reason. Now shape fire, shape water, until you get that all correct and shape mind. So make sure you have all five of them. Now you need to go to the altar, so their respective altars, and you have to use each one on the altar. So make sure you get a bunch of pure essence on you and get teleports to the ones I have in my inventory. I have a staff of air on me as well. I have teleports to Falador, Lumbridge, Varric, a bunch of different places. So as you can see, you can see there, um, you need to do all five. So the first place I'm going to go is the air altar uh, south of Falador. So the air altar is just south of Falador. Once you're there, make sure you use the air talisman on you. And use the blank air rune on the air altar to get uh, an odd little air rune. Next is the water altar south of Lumbridge in the Lumbridge Swamp. It's just where I'm, it's just in that area right there near the shack. Once you're there, use your water talisman on it. And then use your blank water talisman on, or blank water rune on the uh, altar. We're now headed towards the mine altar, which is just below the wilderness ditch that is next to Ice Mountain. It's North of Falador, uh, you'll see on the map where it is, it's right next to Goblin Village as well. It's in that little area where the evergreens are. Once you're there, head into the altar and use your blank mind rune. Here's I'm showing you on the map where it is. Just in this area right here. Then use your mind rune on, your blank mind rune on the altar to get a strange mind rune. Now we're going to teleport to the fire altar. Just use your ring of dueling or a lumberage teleport to get to the duel arena, and then from the entrance to the duel arena, run north and enter that. Enter there. And use your strange little mind rune or sorry, fire rune thing on the fire altar. Last but not least, we need the earth rune, so we're gonna teleport to Varric and get to the air altar. Air altar is basically where the lumber yard is. It's just south of the lumber yard. So go to the lumber yard and look in the trees area below the lumber yard. Use your air talisman to get inside. And then use your strange little earth rune thing on the altar. And you'll have all five. You'll now be able to make sure you have all five on you, get back to the witch haven place. Okay, so my inventory is all five of those runes, the comorb, 
uh, DDS, melee gear, and food. Once there, head back to the little exclamation point place. Head into that scary wall thing again. And I'm gonna climb through the shortcut. If you again, if you can't climb through the shortcut, make your way around. Once you're there, head back to the door that you were at the beginning of the quest. Use each of the runes you crafted and use it on the door. Now all of them will be on the door and a cutscene will occur. The fucker Mayor Hobbs will pop out. And he will tell you about how you have actually been basically working for him. And this ugly ass little piece of blob's gonna pop out. That's not Mother Mal, that's like her prince or something. And for this part, uh, it's really easy to kill. I was just prayer flicking on him. You don't even need to pray against him. And a cutscene will occur once you've killed him. And you'll get stuck in some strange blob. So you're going to be stuck, you can't move. Mother Malum is going to appear, which is really creepy. Again, Jagex were jacked up on heroin when they made this quest. And you're basically on the, ver oh, well, on the verge of going to be killed, but Savant will get you out of here. So, no worries. In the final seconds, she gets you out of there. You end up in the Faldor Park with Sir Tiffy, so let's talk to him so we finish the quest. So go through all these options with him. And that'll complete the quest once you finish talking to him. You get some decent XP, uh, as well as the amazing ability to wear prostate armor which really helps so that's it guys thanks for watching pretty easy quest and uh basically just pretty long and bye